Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today, we're going to be making the modern models used in local AI mixture of expert models. We're going to make it either faster or smarter. Now, I've, we've been playing with Minimax M 2.1 and GLM 4.7 recently on the channel. So these are the models we're going to be playing with. We're going to be giving it some logical tasks where they failed on previously. No, that no, don't do that. And as well as coding tasks and coding can be brutal. It either won't compile or it won't run. So if we make it faster, but not as smart and it doesn't compile, that's no good, is it? But if we make it smarter and produce better results, a little bit slower though, that's going to be amazing. So let's just see how we do it. So we're jumping into, this is Inferencer version 1.9. Now, yeah, be out very, very soon. And as you can see, we've got a few options here at the bottom. One's called the control response. That allows you to pre-fill the response of the assistant. We've got tools as well, tool calling, just option tool calling there. We've got thinking mode, which allows you to either enable or disable thinking. This one works in GLM and Minimax. I'll add other model support as we get round to it. But this is the new one I wanted to show you, mixture of experts. So I'm going to enable thinking for its smartest response possible and this is minimax and last time i asked this question which is to do with it's a logical question the trolley problem except it has a twist so it can't it needs to actually figure through exactly what it is and the twist is the bodies on the track they've already passed away so the traditional trolley challenge is the train is hurtling towards five alive people and there's one alive person on the other track do you divert it to say five lives over one in this experiment it's actually five passed away bodies so if they get run over, okay, it's going to, you know, do some stuff, but it's not going to end the life of someone that's living. So we got thinking enabled over here. And it says, if I'm being ridiculed, I find it difficult to justify why the five should die when I could prevent it. So even though we've got thinking enabled, it hasn't comprehended that the bodies are not already dead is what we specified. So now I'm going to press this new mixer extra option and it's going to the option of keeping the mixture of expert standard giving it more experts so it says this model was trained with eight of 256 experts do you want to give it more experts or do you want to give it less experts to make it run faster so i'm going to click on more experts will this actually change the response will it work is it just a bunch of nonsense and as you can see here i can divert it key observations if I do not pull the lever, the trolley will pass through dead bodies. So it knows about that. Not pulling the lever would result in no additional deaths. So the calculation is different. Pull one lever, one death. Don't pull the lever, zero deaths. So it knows that so far. It's thought about it. It knows the right response. So what is the answer? No, I would not pull the lever. We've literally saved someone's life by giving it <laughs> more experts and made it smarter. So what's the difference here? Here, we ran at 31 tokens a sec second, whereas previously, when we got the wrong answer, it was running at 41 tokens a second. So we've definitely been hit with performance. Those extra experts, they made the answer more accurate, but of course, um, we ended up with a slower response. Now, what happens if we reduce the number of experts here? One, it will be faster, but I don't think you'll get the right response. So we're going at 51 tokens a second. Interestingly enough, even though, even though we gave it less experts, it answered no. And it also realized that the five people already did. So maybe it became more focused and it got to the right answer. So that's a uh, interesting result. So not only is it faster, but you also got the right results. So we got the wrong result when we gave it the standard amount of experts, less experts made it faster. And that's just interesting situation here. Now I'm going to jump in on to GLM actually here, and I'm going to set everything back to normal. And last time we asked it a basic question. We said the surgeon who is the boy's father says, I cannot operate on the boy. He's my son. Who is the surgeon to the boy? And it went ahead. The four parameters were thinking disabled. It said it is the mum. Now, the reason why it does this is because of the training data. The logical challenge that there is, is that women can't be surgeons. So this is just a little play to say that they can whereas in this one we said he's actually my son and i'm the father so it should know that it's a father if it's actually listening to reading what i wrote rather than listening to its training data so once again the surgeon is the boy's mother and we're going to look into the token inspector we can see that it was actually very very close in this one it was 50 40 that you could have picked mother and father now if you ever use um, inferencing engines, there's always a temperature setting that lets it randomly pick which percentages that are close to each other. So we got lucky with this one, the fact that it said that it's the mother. But let's jump in. 
And now let's ask you the same question, except let's give it more experts. And now that we've increased the number of experts, it says the surgeon is the boy's father. But the key thing you need to look at is the token inspector to find out what the percentage is. And he is 100% certain now that it is the father. So it's no longer 50-50 about it where we might have got lucky. It's actually 100% certain. Now I'm going to do the inverse of that. I'm going to give it less experts to see how that one does. Because last time it actually got the right answer somehow. But now that it's more focused, less, it, again, it failed. It said it's the boy's mother and that's perfect. And you can see that it was also 50-36. So it's kind of like it ran faster here. We're running at 21 tokens a second. With more experts, it ran slower, 13 tokens a second, and the standard amount was 17.83 tokens a second. Now that is logical situations here. You saw it running faster, you saw it running slower, and you saw it running smarter. Now let's jump in and let's do some coding experiments. Look at this right here. So last time we ran Minimax previously, we asked it to produce a clone of Photoshop and with thinking turned off and it produced 6,000 tokens. Now there was a catch is that it had a runtime error over here. So unexpected identifier brightness. Now we ran it again with thinking enabled and this is the quality that it produced. Photoshop is famous for having layers. This one didn't have any layers, but it compiled and it ran well, it didn't compile, it ran with no errors, so that's perfect. So we got a couple of experiments here. One, we're gonna increase the number of experts. We're gonna make it more experts to see what we get with thinking disabled. And then we're gonna run it with thinking and with more experts to see what kind of output we get. So here I've enabled more experts. As you can see, it's running at 31 tokens a second, which is actually very, very fast in the world of mixture of expert models. GLM, that one runs of standardly 17.8. So 31 tokens a second with a lot more intelligence. We're gonna have to do a GLM versus Minimax with more experts to see what happens. But as you can see, it's producing lots of tokens here. And I'm gonna jump to the result because I performed this test already. And it made 12,000 tokens. Look at all this code that was produced when we added in more experts available. So this is gonna be a solid version of Photoshop that's gonna be made. And we also made as well over here. This is with thinking enabled. We jumped all the way up to 5,000 tokens produced. So I'm going to show you the results. So this is thinking mode by itself with the standard number of experts. This is non-thinking now with more experts being thrown at the problem. And just look at this interface. You've got layers, layer one, layer two. Unfortunately, this doesn't work over here, but let's just draw some text, it runs. Remember last time there was a runtime error? Now it's running, can we put text on the screen? Hello, we got text on the screen, can we move it? Can we, are oh, we adding more text? Does this move operation work? No, it doesn't work. Size, does that work? Big, big letters over here, does the colors work? Can I make that FFFF? Yes, the colors work. You can blur the image, it's got blurring, it's got sharpening. And zoom tools, it's working. But as you can see, we've produced a lot more code. I mean, it's got a file menu at the top here and it runs. Last time it had runtime errors. We've got a lot more of a solid solution and that's made it smarter. Now you can even make it more smarter. I've just given it a basic option of less and more, but there is, you can go into the settings and you can choose how much experts you want to throw at it. So good luck with your challenges up here. You can turn a mixture of expert model into a dense model. So this is actually the version with thinking enabled and the increased number of experts being thrown at the problem. So we've got, okay, we can draw black over here. Can we make that white? Yes, we can draw, make that white. Does size work? We can see that size is working. Can we add in a layer and write this one? And if I delete that layer, will it remove? Yes. So we got some sort of layering working. Do we have text? Hello, we've got text. Can we move? Is there a move? No, the move doesn't work. Swapping colors, opacity, would that work? Yes, opacity is working over here. So. It's the layers seem to be working slightly better than the non thinking version, but it doesn't have the blur sharpen and grayscale and 12,000 tokens produced, but it's definitely better than the original thinking version. Okay. So something is happening over here. And if you enter the world of inferences, there is a lot of controls you can give it. There's something called temperature. Again, we talked about that. It's the randomness of the tokens it produces. There's also top K, top P, min P, repetition penalty. We used it in the last video. It was very, very useful. But these also modify the workings of the brain. So this new mixture of experts button allows you to modify the workings of the brain. 
give it a lobotomy, but it runs faster, make it more into code. We'll find out what, what happens when we experiment with it. But there's one more test I want to do, and that is with GLM. And I'm going to say, can, can we actually use the less experts version to actually produce code or will it be nonsense when it not compile? So I'm going to say MS Word clone in HTML single file. And let's just see if a GLM with less experts can actually produce a better version of Word than Minimax did with the standard parameters. So as you can see, it is going at around 21.5 tokens a second. That's up from the standard of 17.8. But will it actually create a usable MS Word clone? And will it actually be better than the MS Word clone of Minimax? I previously made two versions of MS Word with Minimax. You can check the last video for that. So we've got this one looks beautiful and the fonts work. The only thing that didn't work is the resizing of the text. This is the non-thinking version of Minimax over here, but you had lots of options. You had a word count, you had lots of beautiful stuff. The thinking version was also beautiful. And that one, you could change the size of the font. It didn't look as pretty as the non-thinking version, but again, everything kind of worked. There's no label on the, the font for some reason, but now let's jump in and see if the faster version of GLM produces a usable version of Word. And this is what GLM, the less smart version produced. It's got, let's see if the font size changes. The font size changes. The fonts, are they changing? Unfortunately, look at that. The fonts are not changing. So it's on parity with the base version of GLM of it. It looks actually very, very similar. Maybe Minimax looks slightly better. But let's just see if the rest works. Can we put a highlight? Look at that. We, we added in a highlight. That one isn't in the other versions. We can center the fonts, make it aligned. We can add bullet points. We've already done that. Numbered bullet points. Move it along the screen. Can we add an image? You can actually add an image. That's amazing. There is, there's a print button over here. So you can print out the results. So that's pretty good. I'm not going to say if it's better or worse. I'm going to say it's very, very close to the full version of Minimax, but it ran no compile errors and it ran faster. So there's lots of experiments to be made. It's kind of like the whole world of quantization methods. Do you know you can quantize a model, it runs faster, but it's not as intelligent. So here you don't even need to quantize it. You can just throw more experts at the problems or give less experts to the problem and you can still get a usable result. So what do you guys think of being able to control the mixture of expert models more. Now, it, when you get, get into it, there's a lot more to be done. Now, these model providers, they provide a plethora of bias in there so they can waive the mixture of experts, how it chooses its token. It doesn't like it choosing the same expert more than once. We're going to get into layer analysis very soon to actually help you figure out which expert is perfect for the task at hand. So we're going to get into that very soon. But for now, you can play around with these new little toggles and I've made these features actually available in the free version. Now they are limited in length, the results that are produced, but you can experiment rather than being behind the paywall for you to even try it out. So let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Now let's go in and let's give it all the experts. If you actually give it all the experts, it, it gets, it gets stuck. It goes really slow and it gets stuck. Now there's going to be ways I'm going to dig into make it better, but yeah, fun times. Happy new year.